Seas and oceans, largest habitats on planet Earth. Wonderful, marvelous, but also vast and powerful. Here lies great beauty and great danger. The sinking of the RMS Titanic is symbolic of the dangers at sea and has engraved itself on human consciousness. The International Convention for the Safety of Life at Sea, SOLAS, was adopted in 1914 in response to the Titanic disaster. It is the most important convention on maritime safety. In the 21st century, maritime shipping remains an endeavor fraught with natural dangers. Additionally, there are also threats emanating from humans. An ancient but also recent threat on the seas and oceans is posed by piracy. A further danger is posed by the dumping of weapons, munition and other military remnants, which include whole ships, especially when equipped with nuclear propulsion. One consequence is that fishermen occasionally haul in old sea mines with their fishing nets or that ammunition dumping sites conflict with other uses or activities on the sea. Such military remnants in most of the world oceans are ticking time bombs and in many cases is striking danger for humans and the environment. The issue appears on the agenda of international fora from time to time. For example, at the International Maritime Organization. But legally binding instruments are still missing. It seems that a major incident is a prerequisite for the further development of international law and for the international community to adopt an adequate solution for this hidden and destructive legacy. The SOLAS Convention was amended and updated in accordance with recent challenges over the last decades, for example in 2017 with the adoption of the International Code of Safety for Ships operating in polar waters, Polar Code. The code became necessary since new shipping routes emerged in formerly ice-covered areas due to climate change. For example, the Northeast Passage and the Northwest Passage in Arctic waters, which provide a shorter voyage between Europe, America and Asia compared to the alternative routes through the Suez or the Panama Canal. But climate change also creates additional challenges for humans. The rise of the sea level poses an existential threat for coastal areas, particularly for small island states. They could simply go under. Climate change and oceans, a hot topic which deserves even more attention from the international community. The effects of climate change on the largest habitat on planet Earth are fundamental. At the same time, international shipping is contributing to worldwide CO2 emissions. There is presently a renewed interest in the interactions between climate governance and law of the sea. For example, the United Nations chose the effects of climate change on oceans as the theme for its annual Law of the Sea gathering in 2017. At a more technical level, the International Maritime Organization is looking into the issue of reduction of greenhouse gas emissions from ships and recently approved a roadmap for developing a comprehensive strategy to that effect. Climate change is an enormous challenge for the preservation of the seas and oceans today, but not the only one. The threats for the marine environment are diverse and are threatening humankind as a whole. If we do not succeed in protecting and preserving the marine environment, not only the largest habitat on planet Earth is in danger, but also the existence of humankind as a whole. The protection of humans at sea is of vital importance, as is the protection and preservation of the marine environment. It's a challenge pertaining to the survival of humankind itself. The international community has to safeguard the ecological well-being of the seas and oceans. Already today, based on the United Nations Convention for the Law of the Sea, there are numerous international instruments and organizations in place to deal with this challenge. We must build on this and ensure through international efforts that the voyage of humankind on this planet, as well as the human uses and activities of the seas and oceans, will not end in a traumatic shipwreck.